So, um, my uh, grandfather died uh, last night, and um, he had, um, I think it was like pneumonia and had some broken ribs. Uh, he fell like a week, week ago, and uh, he broke some ribs and they were impeding his breathing and um couldn't couldn't get enough air and um <clears throat> so so i don't know if i'm gonna be doing a lot of videos for a little while or really doing anything for a little while um he was a um he was a huge support of me and my brothers. He, uh, he was very, uh, proud of us, uh, my younger brother, cause he was the biggest and the, uh, the most built, you yeah, know, physically. Uh, he was the most like my grandfather. My grandfather was in the army. He was, uh, played football, stuff like that. So it was like a man's man, kind of like, like John Wayne type. Um, my older brother. Um, uh, it's a, it's a Boy Scout and Eagle Scout. Became Eagle. Grandfather was very proud of that. Um, told everyone, just everyone he met. Um, we were all in Boy Scouts, but my older brother made Eagle. Um, and, and I, uh, was on The Tonight Show. And again, he told, he would tell everybody about that, so he was very, very proud of us. Um, and I'm glad, I'm glad he got to, to see me be on the Tonight Show, and I'm glad, um, I'm glad it was the Tonight Show. I mean, um, sure, not a lot of people uh, watch Jay Leno's t The Tonight Show anymore, um, but um, if it was anyone else, if it was like Craig Ferguson, he wouldn't know who that is. If it was Conan, he wouldn't know who that is. But he knows The Tonight Show. Uh, he remembers it from Johnny Carson. So the fact that I was on The Tonight Show, the big show, uh, you know, uh, to him to be on, um, that's probably, that's probably why it, it was The Tonight Show. Um, and even though he didn't really understand uh, exactly what it did, why I was there, and, um, what I do, as far as he was concerned, I, you know, I made it and I was, you know, uh, famous and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> Even though I know I'm totally not. Um, uh, for those, some of you guys might know, because I think I've talked about this before, but my grandmother um, is is one of the reasons I do comedy. Um, uh, she's still alive, but she has serious Alzheimer's. And um, she pretty much doesn't, doesn't know where she is anymore, doesn't recognize any of us. Uh, but she was, she's kind of why... You know, I became like the person that I am, like very, very just goofy and silly and just regular life. Cause that's how she was. Um, he was 91. Um, and she's 96, I believe. She's still alive. But anyway, it's not that we didn't see it coming. I mean, we, we, we saw it coming. We, we knew, um, we knew it was going to happen. Um, but I'm going to be making some trips up to, um, where they are. I did, I did get to see them, um, like a week before, and then I got to see them while they were in the hospital, uh, the, the night before. So, so anyway, that's just, uh, filling you guys in on my life right now. Uh, his name was Lynn Martin. Uh, he was also in the army, um, and it wasn't until after, a long ways after, um, like just recently, really, that we found out really anything about him, um, about being in the army. We didn't really know a lot. Uh, we knew he was a pilot, um, and we knew that he worked on planes, um, but we didn't have any stories on him. There's one story that we found out recently from uh, a, a guy named Larry, I believe that's his name, who um, who was a, a Mason with him. He was a, also also a Mason, good friend. 
and found out some stories. I don't like those this one time. Uh, he apparently was in a, um, I think it was, I think it's a bomber and he was the belly gunner, which is like the worst gunning spot to be in. And his plane gets, uh, shot down and it gets all torn up and shot down and lands, but it's the planes like destroyed. Um, and it's like all wrecked up. Um, and since he was a belly gunner, they, you know, the plane was so messed up. They actually had to, um, peel the plane out around him. They had to actually cut the plane off to get him out. Um, and he, uh, he was the only person, uh, that I can remember that didn't have a scratch. He didn't get hurt of everyone else that was in the plane. Everybody, you know, a couple other people got shot. Um, uh, but he, he didn't, he didn't get a scratch. But despite, despite that, they still, uh, his commanding officer still commanded him to go to, um, the uh, medical bay or whatever. Um, and everyone else went, but he didn't, he didn't go to the medical bay. There was a plane that was about to leave immediately after he landed and was peeled out, um, that was missing a man. He hopped on that plane and they flew off and they shot down some planes and they came back. Um, when he came back, uh, his commanding officer just chewed him out. You know, like, why did, you know, I told you to go to, to a sick bay or medical bay or whatever, and you didn't, why'd you not do that? And he looked him right in the eyes because they shot down my plane and it pissed me off. Um, so anyway, that was, uh, that was apparently my grandfather that I didn't really know. Um, he was a very, very tough, tough guy. Um, very old fashioned, very, didn't really say I love you kind of thing. Um, but, uh, he was, uh, he was a great man. So...